Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Setting the inventory item defaults let you specify the default settings when creating new items for invoices, bills, and purchase orders. To set the inventory item defaults, select Maintain, Default Information, Inventory Items from the menu bar. To set general inventory item settings, click the General tab. To allow duplicate UPC or SKU codes, check the Allow Duplicate Values in the UPC SKU field checkbox. To allow duplicate values in the Part Number field when the item's preferred vendor is the same, check the Allow Duplicate Values in the Part Number field when the item's preferred vendors are the same checkbox. To set a default item class for new inventory items, select the desired class from the Default Item Class drop-down. To set default actions when ordering items, click the Ordering tab. To include quantities from purchase orders when calculating the quantity available of an item, check the Include Purchase Orders when calculating quantity available checkbox. To set what quantity should be used for out-of-stock warnings in the Sales Invoice or Receipt windows, select an option within the Sales Invoice Receipt Out-of-Stock Warning Message section. To set what quantity should be used for out-of-stock warnings in the Sales Order or Proposal windows, select an option within the Sales Order Proposal Out-of-Stock Warning section. In the Auto Creation of Purchase Orders section, you can check the checkboxes to automatically create purchase orders for both dropship and non-dropship transactions, excluding proposals, if desired. To set the default general ledger accounts used when creating the different types of item classes, click the GL Accounts Costing tab. You can also select the default general ledger account for freight here. For each item class shown in the rows, enter the values into the white columns to the right. Gray columns mean that the value cannot be entered for that particular item class. Use the GL Sales Income drop-down to select the income account to which sales of that item class should be attributed by default. Use the GL Inventory or Wage drop-down to select the Inventory or Wage Expense account to which the item class defaults. Use the GL Cost Sales drop-down to select the default Cost of Sales account for the item class. Use the Costing drop-down to select the default Costing method for the item class. At the bottom of this tab, to set the default Expense account for freight charges in the Sales Invoicing window, Select a choice from the GL Freight Account drop-down. To set the default item tax types, which are used to classify sales taxes for state reporting, and to also set the default shipping methods, click the Taxes Shipping tab. In the Item Tax Type list, enter the names of the default tax types, and then check the adjacent tax checkbox if that tax type is taxable. In the Ship Methods list, Enter up to 10 default shipping methods from which you can select when entering customer and vendor transactions later. These methods should be entered from top to bottom from most frequently to least frequently used. To create custom fields for inventory items, click the Custom Fields tab. You can create up to 5 additional fields to track additional custom data. Type the name of the field to create into the Field Labels field and then check its adjacent Enabled checkbox to add it to the inventory item records. When you create the new items later, you can then specify the values for each field you create. To create pricing levels, which set different item pricing categories and sales forms, click the Price Levels tab. You can create up to 10 price levels to vary the pricing of an item based on a calculation you specify. These let you charge different prices for the same item to different customers. To create a price level, type its name into the first available Level Name field. Ensure the Enabled checkbox is checked to enable the pricing level. Then click the gray Edit arrow to the right to open the default price level calculation window for the pricing level. Use the Use drop-down to select the basis for the price level. Then use the AND drop-down to select whether the price level increases or decreases the price from the selected basis by an amount or by a percent. Then enter the amount or percent into the adjacent field to the right. Then use the Round Price drop-down to select how to round the calculated prices and enter a specific cent into the adjacent field if needed. 
Then click the OK button to save the price levels calculation, which then appears in the price levels default calculation field. When you have finished setting your inventory defaults, click the OK button to save them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.